Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat. In case you're new here, if you are, you should go ahead and subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. Speaking of new videos, this is a new video and it is on the ColourPop liquid highlighters from their Crushed Crystal collection. Yes, these retail for $9. They initially said $6, but now they're $9 and that bothers me, but whatever. They come in glass bottles. They are liquid highlighters. They have other things in the collection, but that's irrelevant right now. The idea of the Crushed Crystal collection is that every single product actually has crystals in it. So they have rose quartz, amethyst, aquamarine, and adventuring. So they have four different Crushed Crystal collections. What I'm going to be showing you guys today is the liquid highlighters. So as I said, I got Rose Quartz. And Amethyst. This has 25 milliliters of product or 0.85 fluid ounces. They are in, again, glass bottles. They are cruelty free. I don't believe they're vegan. I'm not sure though. They're made in California. Also, just so you know, they are kind of heavy because of the glass bottles and the liquid. So I did get charged customs at the border, which I was not happy about at all. But I got charged customs in case you know, you're ordering and you live not in the US. So here are the boxes. They are pretty iridescent, nice, and they have like crystals on the sides and they're so pretty. On the inside flap right here, they do uh, tell you about the crystal itself. I don't know if these products are supposed to make you feel what the crystal claims to do. I don't know. I don't know if I believe in crystals. I think that they're gorgeous, but I don't, I don't, I don't think I believe in them. So there's that. I just bought this because I thought it was pretty. I will go ahead and show you guys them on my face. And then afterwards I'll do like my overall thoughts and feelings. So, so I'm going to go in with Rose Quartz, which is the more natural one. So I have my little foundation moisturizer concoction here. I just mix them together. I actually done a foundation routine, which I'll link up in the cards for you guys to watch it in case you want to so i'm just gonna take a i don't know a pump maybe of this a pump kind of seems like a lot but we're gonna do a pump i'm just gonna mix it in here that's what it looks like now it's definitely way more glowy so i'm just gonna put it on my face and we'll see how it goes You can definitely see the glow. So this is a foundation on my skin. So I feel like the foundation isn't setting as much as I want it to and as much as it normally does. It's a little more tacky than it normally is. I feel like I could just like go like that on my face and it would like wipe off. Uh, and that normally doesn't happen. So I'm gonna set it with my Fit Me powder. This is a really light powder, so hopefully it doesn't take away any of the glow. My skin still does look pretty dewy, sparkly, highlighty after setting it, which is nice. It does give me a little bit of a glow, which I do personally like. So I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and we'll try this little guy on my cheekbones. Okay, so now that I've done the rest of my makeup, I'm going to go ahead and apply actual highlight. If I can get it out of the box. So this is the Amethyst highlight. It's just a purple and we're going to apply it to my cheeks. Well, my cheekbones, really. A lot comes out in a pump, so I think I'm going to do like half of a pump. I, I don't even know if that was half of a pump, but just that much. I think that's enough, honestly. I'm just going to apply it with my sponge, uh, and we'll, we'll 
see how it goes. I've never used liquid highlighter before. This doesn't seem to be blending out that well unless I rub it, which I don't like doing. I feel like it's not blending out as much as I want it to. That's what it looks like. It's pretty natural, like, spot on when you're looking at me because it doesn't look like much. It looks like, if anything, like white and then blush. And like, I turn my head and it's like, purple. See it like right where the initial dot was which is right here it like stays even like patting on it it's still there I need to like I have to actually rub it which generally like rubbing on stuff like this it picks up the foundation it doesn't appear to be picking up the foundation below which is nice well, amethyst didn't really blend out very well even like on my nose it's not blended and I can see that um, it was also kind of hard to get in the places that I wanted specifically and like not blend it other places. So I just, I like a more controlled product so I like powder more than liquid personally. I do think it looks nice. It definitely doesn't look glittery or sparkly really. It does look like a glow which I personally really like. It looks pretty wet and there still is a glow to my skin from the rose quartz. In all honesty, I probably won't reach for these often. If anything, maybe to mix in with my foundation, but just as like a highlight, I probably won't reach for them often just because I really do like powder highlight. They are kind of expensive, they're $9. I mean, it's not much at all compared to like high-end, but for ColourPop, it's more than I wanted to pay. If you really like liquid highlight, you would probably really, really enjoy these. But if not, if you're not a huge liquid highlight person, I'd probably skip out on these. I probably won't purchase any more. I highly doubt I will. It does feel a little tacky on the skin. Not a whole ton, but a little bit. And it does come off on your fingers. So, if that matters to you, maybe set it with a powder. That is it. If you guys enjoy liquid highlighters, go pick them up. If not, skip out on them. They're not great. That is my video on the ColourPop Liquid Highlighters. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!